What is a sweatshop? Um, so a sweatshop is, I guess, an illegal practice of business or production in usually typically third world countries. Um, a lot of times there's children in sweatshops and it's um, badly paid children or not paid at all or um, slave labor, that kind of stuff. What is fair trade? So fair trade is the attempt to, I guess, regulate those kind of conditions um, with corporations, so places like Walmart, Second Cup, Starbucks, to try and bring more money to the workers um, and even out, I guess, the trade in between countries like Canada, for example, and places like Venezuela, that kind of stuff. Okay, um, what is your opinion on fair trade? Um, I think it's a really sticky subject. Um, there's a trend when you try to implement fair trade in corporations like Walmart or Starbucks, those kind of places, you see a decline or a withdrawal from a corporation in a third world country. So um, how I look at it is, yes, somebody in, say, Venezuela or India, they should be paid properly and they should have good working conditions and they should be unionized. But at the same time, when we implement fair trade into those companies or those workplaces, a lot of times that employment disappears. So for me, it's kind of like the worst of two. Do we implement fair trade into a corporation that isn't practicing it or is using sweatshops and risk losing that employment for those people, or do we let it continue so those people do have some kind of form of income? So um, say, for example, Canada implements fair trade with Starbucks, or let's say Walmart, for example, in India. So there's Indian people making cheap stuff for cheap prices that's being sent back to Canada and sold at a much higher price. Um, if we did implement it, what would happen? A, uh, that corporation would pull out because it's not worth the money to them. They went there for the cheap labor. Um, and then all those people involved in that, so that's hundreds of thousands, I imagine, who are practicing this form of labor, lose their income. So now you have an increase in poverty or an increase in starving death, that kind of stuff. Or um, do we let it continue, knowing that this is happening, but accepting the risk that if we do try to implement fair trade, those people are going to lose their employment conclusively. So what's better, getting paid 15 cents an hour or getting paid nothing? So fair trade to me is a really crooked kind of subject. Um, there's no real standard of success in fair trade. Uh, it can be seen as a social movement um, that you can't really measure. So um, yeah, I think that it's nice to think you're drinking fair trade coffee, but at the same time you're drinking fair, fair trade coffee that, you know, half the employee, employees lost their job over, right? So um, at the end of the day, I don't agree with fair trade. Um, I think the risks need to be measured more, and I think pressuring government to take a role, which essentially is only a figurehead, that we're a free, fair trade country um, or a fair trade company, uh, is only ringing a bell, like it's only, you know, ringing someone's bell. Um, I think it's, I really think it's a joke, to be honest. Um, the idea and the theory is nice, but so is communism. I don't think it'll work, and I think that the fact that there is no way to implement change or measure that change is a huge sign that something needs to be reevaluated in the process of fair trade. Uh, do you see an alternative to fair trade as a way of um, increasing labor standards in the third world and this first world? Um, I think that with fair trade, um, like the idea is nice. I think that there, if there was a way, a safety net behind fair trade, a way to, in case this happens when trying to implement fair trade on that corporation, we can provide this kind of employment would be an alternative. I think really though it measures back down to how can we increase um, equality and anti-discrimination in third world countries. So instead of trying to say, well, we're going to create this fair trade company where we hope the money will go back to these workers, but it might not, but it's a good step in the right direction. Why aren't we going into countries and offering new employment or offering new resources to try and get people more employed in things that don't require um, sweatshops or slave labor or discriminatory or unequal um, workplaces? So why aren't we providing more education opportunities for third world countries? Uh, I feel if people, for example, in India who have a lot of struggles in that labor and that workforce um, had the opportunity to go to school and become not so much a service level or entry level um, employment, uh, that we would see a huge decrease in unfair workplace and unfair labor force in third world countries. Okay. 
Uh, thank you. Oh, is there anything else you want to add? No. Okay. Thank you very much.